Hello. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Xiao Talk Show. Wait, how long have I been going? Did I just start long ago? Oh, I started two minutes ago. Okay. Um, shit. <sighs> something came. Something came up. I have lots of problems, and I haven't been doing live video for a while. Ah, it's a mess. When when did I start the stream? I didn't click the button. <laughs> um. So am I? Am I actually talking? Yes. Yes. Um. So what am I doing? Uh, I'm I'm going to do so. So welcome to another episode of a Star Talk Show. And so we are going to do um, Emacs. Okay. So so here is the what I'm going to do is to do a Emacs workflow and. Uh, Um, hold on a second. Hello, beautiful people. Hi, guys. Hi, Alan. And uh, hi, Justin. So okay, so let let me do let me do a um. Uh, today's topic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on my Emacs website. So this is going to be a um, Emacs work workflow demo. And you're gonna see how I work with uh, my website and HTML. And uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change my Emacs website navigation uh, bar or table table of contents. You see, the way right now it is is that if you go to Xardi, uh just search for ergoemacs.org, you go to the website, you will see things like this. So on the left, you see this panel. Let's see if I can. Uh, you can see it. Yeah. So the, on the left, you can see this navigation panel, which is kind of like a menu or topics. So you have practical Emacs. Then you have everything about init setup. Then you have everything about Emacs key binding, how to set keys, everything uh, key binding related things. Then then you have introduction to Emacs Lisp. Then you have Emacs Lisp examples. Then you have uh, tutorials about how to write a Emacs major mod. So that's the left panel, basically the the topics or menu. So if you if you click on any one of them, so for example, let's go to practical Emacs. Then you see the list of topics. Uh, and uh, if you, for example, this you start with where to download Emacs, the so you we are on this page. The left panel remains the same, a menu of uh, different topics. But on the page at the bottom, let's go to the bottom. So you will see a list of uh, indexes of that topic. So where to download Emacs? So you can click the next one, Emacs first day, which is uh, a tutorial on for those of you. Who never started Emacs before? So again, you scroll to the bottom and you see the next topic. And you know, so basically, the menu at the bottom is on every page for for this topic for the practical Emacs. In in the same way, in a similar way, if you go to, for example, Emacs Lisp examples, then you see this box of all the pages about. Emacs Lisp code examples. So you can click any one of them. For example, let's click on change title case. So here's a code example in Emacs Lisp. Uh, you know, a code example. Then at the bottom again, you see these indexes. So you can pick another Emacs Lisp example. So this is the current structure of my Emacs uh, website. But what I'm thinking is that I want. I'm thinking that uh, to, for example, let's go to practical Emacs and let's scroll down. So you see a bunch of topics about how to use Emacs. I'm thinking of moving this uh, index box, navigation box, to the left. 
so so this whole thing will be on the left side and as in a similar way if you are on a practical emac list introduction let's let's say let's click on this one evaluate how to evaluate emac list code and you scroll down to the bottom you see these uh, boxes indexes about basics of emac list so i want to move that to the left so this way so this way is actually more typical of online websites on the left you have a bunch of you know subject uh, related like index of topics meanwhile the overall category of of the website typically you go to the home page you know the top page of the website then you can see you know um, what kind of categories are available on on the website so that so that is what I'm thinking I'm going to do today. So I'm going to just demonstrate how to do that. So I'm going to make a backup and you know, so I have two versions and in, in the end, you'll see how the two versions actually look. So what do you guys think? Do you think the current way is better or the new way is better? Let me know, type in the chat box, okay? So good morning, Andy. D break the loop you changed your name so I like the index links highlight a different color when mousing over yeah that's great I, I added that recently like a few months ago so so that's a new addition so um so what do you guys think the the two ways the the way I I have it right now or or have all these um, indexes move to the to the left of the uh, page the left panel what which which one do you think is better so type in the box uh, type in the chat box let me know but anyhow let's just start to work on them okay so let me check how long uh, have I been talking uh, for 10 minutes this is gonna take a while 40 minutes I think so break the loop says wait, wait. break the loop and Andy Lee. Aren't you the same person I thought? So Break the Loop says it makes sense for the index to be on the left side. Okay. Break the Loop says cause otherwise user has to scroll to the top to navigate. You mean scroll to the bottom. For example on practical emac list let's say let's go to practical emacs then let's say on split windows so this page discuss about split windows so you have to scroll all the way down then to see other you know to continue with uh, what you are reading so actually there are pros and cons in either way you know I, I, I tried to uh, design this navigation box in the past three years and it's lots of frustration uh, it's really because CSS does not let you do it. Meanwhile, does not let you do it. Really, that's a fundamental issue. Meanwhile, the HTML uh, 4.1, 4.01 frame set, you know, that, that DTT, DTT, that solves the problem. But that, uh, that technology is being obsolete, is, is being defunct. Anyway, that that's getting complex. That's getting the history of the tech, the HTML technology. And actually, I have an article on that. So I'm not going to talk about that. But anyway, the thing is that today you just have you you need to use CSS to do this, and there's really no good way to do it. Because if I move, for example, if I move all these topics, uh, you know, this index of the current topic to the left of the panel. What will happen is that actually, let me maybe I can show you an example. JavaScript. Let's go to JavaScript. Okay, it's not here. Um, wait, let's see. Yeah, it's not here. Uh, let's see if I can find an example where. Ah, yeah, I can. I, I can find an example. So if we go to xali.info and you go to my programming tutorials, for example, let's go to Python. 
So for example, this is my Python page, Python tutorial, and uh, you have the typical list of topics on the left. You know, you can start with Python 3 basics, you can start with Python 2 basics, then you can start with, you know, you go to another topic about print statement and about building help. So it's all on the left, you see. Or you can look at true and false in Python. So this is so this this web design is the typical uh, website design. But there's a problem too because, for example, you are on this page true or false. So you 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 read it, you read it. Okay, it's done. Now you want to go back to the next page. You know the next topic after true and false. You cannot. You have to scroll all the way up. Then you see that. Then you click then if then else you see so you, so when you are reading this page if then else you read read you know sometimes the page is long then you have to scroll all the way to the top and click again so either way you know so in this typical traditional way you have to scroll back to the top if the page is long meanwhile the way I have it on my Emacs page is that you read and read then naturally you hit the you know the topics box so either way it's kind of um i'm it's you know it's unclear which one uh is much better uh, break the loop because <laughs> okay same person andy so just switched youtube account okay so uh current way is kind of nice in in that when you reach the bottom of a specific topic you see the index of the other pages allowing you to naturally look for another page okay yeah so i asked i asked this question a few times to different people i think m most of them they prefer the traditional style like the like, like the python page <clears throat> because this is what people are used to meanwhile for my emacs page where you have you have this high, high, <clears throat> higher level of categories on the left. Um, you know, f so anyway, so, so, but you see, once you explain to people the pros and cons of both, then people started to say, oh, maybe the current way is better. That, you know, that's the thing. There's no decisive, um, um, judgment on which which is better so anyway let's let's just go ahead and do them you know let's just do the emac workflow let's see okay so okay there's a lot to do so i'm going to show you so let's see uh xar start command log mod okay so on this on this window you are going to see all my emacs commands okay so right now on my I am on my website, so this is the this is the directory path. This is where my Emacs website is. So if I search for, I go to the index. Uh, hold on a second. So wait. So let's magnify this. Oops. Let's magnify this window so you can actually see better. Okay, so we have a lot to do actually. So let's start. So, so on this page, first of all, I want to make a backup. So let's go down here. Uh, I want to make a backup. So this is not usually how I do it, but let's do it this way. So copy cp uh, not code point cp dash r this directory copy to uh back up so there is the command i want to do so i go to shell uh i paste that and uh yeah let's, let's do it okay enter i just hit enter and it's gonna take a while
now Emacs is stuck. What's going on? Emacs is stuck. Wait, or oh, is my computer stuck? Ah, uh, this is bad. Emacs. Wait, normally when you do a e shell copy, it shouldn't stuck, right? Darn. Let's see what, what else is going on. Okay, we have to wait this. Okay, so oh, it's done. So finally, it's done. So let's go to, let's go to the new directory Emacs back backup. So okay, so we did the backup. So let's let's start to work on this. Close E shell, and uh, close this. No save. Okay, so what I want to do is. I want to close that. I want to close that. Show in browser again. Actually, it's gonna. This is gonna be a lot of work. Um, okay, click on Practical Emacs. So let's go to the top of the directory. Okay, I have this category here. Then let's go to Practical Emacs. So now I'm going to put every of these index pages to the left panel. Uh, there's a lot. You know, when you actually work on this, there's a lot to do, and uh, I also have to explain it. So, so I'm opening the page. What I want to do is let me, let me explain what 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 I have to do. So on each and every of these page, for example, for example, let's go to uh, where to download Emacs. Okay, so let's open that page, the source code, where to download Emacs. This is the source code. Download Emacs for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So on each and every of these page in the navigation box, there is at the bottom you will see. Let's go to bottom. Okay. So let's go to bottom. So at the bottom, you will see this this block of code, and this block of code co corresponds to this navigation box. I call them navigation box, and uh, so you can see. So for each and every of these link, which which are here, they contain this 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 uh, list of of pages, index pages. So for each one of these page, I need to replace this page. Basically, delete it. Delete it. Okay. For each one, each page, I need to delete this navigation box, and I need to also let me show you the source code. So the source code here on this page also every uh, every one of the page also has this this uh, code. Okay. And that code correspond correspond to the this navigation box. I mean the the panel, the panel on the left. So let me repeat for on each and every of these page, not others. Okay, only these. Remember because I have other many other topics pages. So on each page in this box, I need to one remove this box, remove remove this text, two. Also remove this uh, left panel text and replace the left panel text by by this uh, navigation box text. So so first of all, what we need to do is we need to find out just exactly which page we need to make this specific change. You know, this is just one of the change. 
uh, for the practical Emacs. Then we have to do the same for init setup. Then we have to do the same for Emacs keys, you know, each category of topics. So, but let's focus on the practical Emacs. So first of all, we need to find out the list of pages we need to change. That is easy, okay? So I just go to here. Uh, let me show you this. Okay, so you see, okay, so, uh, so the, you see this highlighted section. You know, if I'm doing this by myself, then it's fast. It's much faster. I just, you know, I know what to do. But I, the thing is, I have to explain. If I do not explain, you have no idea what's going on. You just see, see, see me, you know, punching keyboards. So anyway, so first of all, I need to find out a list of files, file path. So, okay, so I select the, the nav box, then I press a button, which calls the XAR HTML extract URL command. Okay, this command. Then what I have is a list of paths. So these are the list of files I need to change. You know, it extract the URL uh, and change them into a full path. That's one of the command I, I wrote, which is very convenient when you work on with HTML. Okay, so I have now a list of uh, pages, 148 files, file path. So I'm, I'm going to cut this, then I'm going to close that, and I'm actually going to switch to a Golang script. Yeah, let's go to Golang. Golang replace. So I've written this find and replace script in Golang. So you are looking at the source code right now. So what I want to do is, you see there is the file list. So I'm going to paste the bunch of file path here. There, there they are. So when you have a bunch of file paths here, that means this find and replace will only find and replace on these files, N nothing else, okay? And now I need to make them into the Golang, Golang syntax, which is like, uh, I'll show you what it looks like, okay? So each line must look like that. So basically add the quotation and add a comma at the end. So I have a command, so I just call that start quote lines and press enter, enter. So it's done, it's done for me for 180 lines. So you see now each line is a uh, string. So this, this is a list of files I want to change. Now the next thing I need to do is to to say what's the uh, uh, replacement text. I mean, what, what, what's the find text and replace text? So the find text will be, oh my God, to do this and to do this live stream takes a lot explanation because <laughs> if I do not explain, you have no idea what's going on. So here, the goal line, we have find and replace pairs. So, so the find, the first of all, the find pair. Let's see what I want to do. The find pair. Um, okay, so so here you see the find replace pair. Let me just do this. Okay, so you can see quickly. So this script allows me to do multiple find and replace pairs in one shot. All you have to do is add the lines here. So uh, let's copy that. Let's, so we have two of them. So because we need to do two pairs of find and replace. So let's, so, so now we go back to the um, find replace. We want to, first of all, we want to find the left panel, the left panel, which is the here, you see. Okay, so let's go to the Golang page. I paste here. That's the left panel. And we want to replace that panel by, let's paste it here. Okay, wait. Uh, yeah, let's replace it by, let me tell you what we need to replace it by. We need to replace it by the navigation box, which is these, okay? So let's go back. 
let's see if I got correct if we if I got it correct let's see find and uh, you need to be super careful here because otherwise once you do it it's gonna replace hundreds of files so you have to make sure the find replace um, is correct so find that and replace okay so we don't want that topics you know normally if I'm doing it this by myself it's just typing in very fast because I, I do these thousands you know thousands of times every day for the past 10 years okay so we did one pair of find replace let's let's uh, we need to do another pair of find find and replace which is which is remove this remove remove this navigation box okay it's basically meaning find this text and just delete it replaced by empty string so that's what I'm going to do here paste that then replaced by empty string okay that's that's it let's just run the code and let's hope everything is fine okay now before we do anything let's go back to um, let's go back to my Emacs website let's go to the directory magnify eshell let's go to hold on a second okay then go to a top directory then git status I want to make a git commit in case anything went wrong so git status okay git add then git commit okay done now let's delete all Emacs backups because for example you can see um, you know sometimes I have lots of backups Emacs made backups so let's just run the code so go to eshell uh, delete backup okay it's done so now it's uh, now I have a git committed git backup so let's run the goland find replace code okay so where is that so there okay run it let's just run it yeah syntax error unexpected new line yeah I knew something is wrong uh, go replace 179 oh yeah so the in goland <coughs> syntax you need a comma at the end okay let's do it again run it we it's working so you you can see the output here it it did find replace on all these files basically 180 files now if we go back to browser and refresh let, let's hope it works you see now this is the old right you are seeing the old so in the old on the left panel is the is the category menu meanwhile at the bottom of each page is the index box the navigation box now if I press ref refresh the navigation box should become should move to the left let's refresh no it failed <laughs> I failed wait did I um refresh what's going on click on down hey, it worked okay it worked yeah I, I'm not sure why it didn't work on the first page sometimes but anyway but let's see if we uh, it worked okay so look so here is download let's click on Emacs first day looks like it worked click on Emacs basics then basic tips then lesser known tips then fun with Emacs then Emacs on Windows frequently asked questions seems it worked split windows restore split windows looks great yeah so we have lo lots of uh, topics of this category on the le left panel so it worked but meanwhile but I, I'm not sure why is this uh, index page does not work okay that's something I have to do so anyway that that basically works worked okay now the next thing we need to do is to we, we need to click on the init setup 
again we need to do the same thing for all these files for the init setup for example you click on emacs init file this page explains what init file is about how do you where where does emacs look for it and so on and again at the bottom you move down to the bottom then you see the topics index so we need to do this find replace again for these so that all these are uh, on the left okay but I think I'm going I'm not going to do it uh, right now so but you get idea of what we are doing today basically I just need to do the same thing so which one do you think is better do you think the current version is better where um, where for example you know you know what I mean so you know the current version where the the left panel shows the high level category of topics meanwhile the for for each specific topic you have a bunch of indexes at the bottom of the page so that's the that's the current way or what we did today where the current the index of current topics is all on the left this is more traditional so let, so which one do you think is better George Pronounce good morning okay so I think maybe that's it for today you know I have I have not been doing a uh, live stream much for the past 10 days because I got there's something uh, there's family issues okay Fam family issues coming up so uh, so I'm busy and uh, let's see how long have I been talking uh, 33 minutes so I think maybe that's it for today you, you guys you guys have any questions or comments uh, hello beautiful people you can have the navigation on the same position all the time can stay at the same place the thing you might want to call is position yeah I know that you see so th that's why this topic is, is very complex I know what you mean exactly because I have been trying to do that you know I tried it I, you know I, I've been trying to research and doing this I mean um, you know doing it and didn't like it and revert it and try another way it's fairly very complex topic you know you can you know like you are saying make the position fixed for example if I if I scroll down the page the the menu does not move with the page or you can have a score bar within the menu within the left panel right so you see there are quite quite a lot of design issues I mean there's on one hand you have design issues on the other hand you have the implementation issues both these two design issues and implementation issues they are uh, separate con uh, separate concerns but however for each one of them if we forget about implementation okay let's just think about design then that also have quite a few um, different ways and it's not easy to know which one is actually better and if you already picked a specific design then you want to implement them there is also quite a few ways you know like whether you want a little scroll bar here or whether you want the whole page to scroll and you know I've tried to survey uh, what's what does people think in general there is no one agreement that's a problem there's no one way that's clearly better than the other so so this is you know fairly complicated in fact <laughs> in fact I have an article on that uh, anyway so so just let me you know so let me know so what do you think I mean given the the way the two ways I have right now you know one one way is this way or my current website way which which of these two you think are better and also like you know like uh, I mentioned before when if you want to have a if you want to the le if you want the left panel to be fixed you know not moving with the page then 
if the number of things in the left panel is long, longer than one screenful, then you do need a scroll bar. But but then there's complexities because because it's more complex because your page no longer behaves like a piece of paper. Now it becomes like an app. You know, it becomes an app kind of thing. You have a scroll bar here, then you have a scroll bar here. You know, so it depends on. Um, you know your preference, and yeah, it's a big issue. You know, usability. There's no agreement on which one is better exactly. Uh, no scrolling after reading is then needed. No scrolling after reading is then needed. Okay, so I I think that's it for today so thank you guys for watching anything else any questions any comments interesting things George Panusu where are you from I don't think I've seen you before so break the loop anything else Amphitheus Amphitheus I like having the link links near the top after introduction uh, you like the links near the top after the introduction <laughs> like, what, what do you mean that's ambiguous because in both in both ways you have the links at top like like what do you mean okay that's it for today thank you for watching and uh, I've been working on my Emacs website uh, updating the website a lot in the past um, two weeks so if you like my Emacs stuff buy it you know now you can see a big buy it <laughs> button on you know on each of the top page so so you can you know so uh, well yeah there so, and also Emacs Lisp so buy it like my stuff thank you guys Bye. And uh, also join Discord. Okay, you know I have a Discord account. You go to any of my website and you can find my Discord. And in Discord, you can, you know, you have the latest information about what am I doing and many interesting people. They're talking about keyboards, about programming languages, um, and many weird ideas too. You know, you get diverse opinions on all sort of things like on Wikipedia pages okay uh, oh list oh topics okay so I like having the links near the top after introduction see you guys bye